Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm doing a comparison of export time between three Apple devices. So first of all, the timeline has 10 minutes and 32 seconds. It's in 4K, it is at 25 frames per second footage. It's gonna be ex exported in MOV with video codec H264. In my Polish video, I've exported that in file type MP4 and the results were, to say the least, surprising, but I'm gonna get into that at the end of this video. This laptop, it's an Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch, bought in early 2019. It has Intel Core i7 2.7 GHz quad core processor. Graphics, it is Intel Iris Plus graphics, 655, 1536 megabytes. Memory, it is 16 gigabytes of RAM, 2133 MHz LPDDR3. And the storage is 512 gigabytes SSD. This device is an iPad Pro M1 from late 2021. The spec on it, it is processor M1, 8 core CPU, graphics 10 core GPU, memory 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the internal storage is two terabytes SSD. Behind me, my latest and greatest addition to my business, and that is Apple MacBook Pro 14 inch 2023 model. The processor is Apple Silicon M2 Max 12 cores. Graphics is 30 cores GPU. Memory is 64 gigabytes of RAM. And the storage is two terabytes of SSD. So in a second, I will start the clock and export this 10 minute and 32 seconds video in 4K in MOV format to show you how fast all these devices are. Start in a second and then I'm just gonna press save, save, save and start export and save. And we're running. And what do you think? Let me know in the comment section which device will be the quickest one because when exporting video in MP4 format, there was a surprise. There was a surprise, but I will get back into that in just a second. It is now one minute, 10 seconds. And on the MacBook Pro with Intel, it's 11%. On the M1 iPad is 21%. And it is 41% on M2 Max. Let me know if you like those kind of videos. Uh, I know there are quite a few of them showing the difference in speed between various Macs with Apple Silicon or against uh, Intel Macs. But because I have those Macs in my own disposal, uh, I thought before I'm gonna sell this one, I'm gonna record a video. Okay, two minutes, 20 seconds, M2 Max, 74%. 40% on M1 iPad Pro and 20% on Intel i7 processor MacBook Pro. M2 Max, three minutes and one second. That's lightning fast. That's absolutely lightning fast. Absolutely incredible machine. I already worked on many videos for my clients because I run a business called Big Feel Media. So I do real estate videos, promotional videos, and this MacBook Pro M2 Max saved me a lot of time, especially on the footage which I recorded with Sony Alpha 7 4, 4K 10-bit. This, this MacBook is absolutely lightning fast with rendering, then with working on a timeline, there's no gaps, no dropped frames, no anything, and it's smooth as butter, and the export time is absolutely fantastic. As you've seen, 10 minutes, 32 seconds, in three minutes and one second. Now I'm waiting for the iPad with M1 and for the MacBook Pro with the Intel processor. A quick update with five minutes, 40 seconds, 
and the iPad is on 93% and the MacBook with Intel is on 50%. Six minutes, four seconds for the iPad Pro with M1. And I'm waiting now for the MacBook Pro with an Intel processor. Almost seven minutes and we are on 60% on the MacBook with Intel processor. To be totally honest, it's totally entertaining waiting 10 minutes to the video to run. Not. Another update, 75%, eight minutes, 55 seconds. The Intel MacBook Pro has finished. It took him 11 minutes and two seconds to render 10 minutes, 32 seconds of 4K 10-bit video in MOV format. Not bad, not bad. But I have a surprise for you. Earlier on, I've rendered all these videos in MP4 format. And surprise, surprise, the timeline of this video, which I just rendered, I fully created on iPad Pro in Final Cut Pro for iPad. And there, was, there, were, there were no color correction, no color grading, no fancy uh, plugins installed and no fancy no effects added to the timeline, just to streamline the process of exporting the video. I didn't add any, any color grading or whatever. Nonetheless, the same footage in MP4 format, an iPad M1 exported in six minutes 10 seconds. First place. A MacBook Pro with M2 Max was slower by 11 seconds. So 6 minutes 21 seconds of the same footage in an MP4 format. However, a disaster for MacBook Pro with Intel processor. It took him 28 minutes and 29 seconds to render exactly the same file. Nonetheless, that's all. It's been fully unscientific test, but I hope you enjoyed it and you've seen the difference between the Intel Mac M1 iPad and the M2 Max MacBook Pro. So yeah, you can see the difference and the way which the MacBooks came from the Intel into the Apple Silicon. The improvement is just, is just beyond, it's just amazing. Right. I think that's that's all. If you have any questions, just drop the comment down below underneath the video. Uh, remember to like the video and when you like, remember to also to subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet and hit the bell notification icon to be notified when I upload a new video. For today, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers!